As long as I keep him at, I think, medium range, he should be able to just kind of... Uh, whoops, that took a ton of damage off me. Didn't mean to do that. I need to remember to keep my health topped up and also not go anywhere near him. Look at how much damage he does to me. The first thing I want today is a spider room. Armed with a frying pan, we're ready to start. Which means we need to go through the toxic sewers. While being rewarded with Frost Blast 4+, plus, and a Great Owl of War 3+, plus, I don't know what this does, but I just thought it sounded hilarious. So what exactly does this do? Oh, I get it. It's like a ranged turret for me, so it can just attack things as long as we got the right angle. I kind of like that, because that's going to make less work for me. And that works pretty good. This little owl's a real go-getter. And on a magical journey, we get a better frying pan. Next, we've got to do the ancient sewers. Never been here before. So this should be a nightmare. 60 enemies to go. I'm already super excited about all the jumping I have to do, because if anything's ever going to hurt me, it's going to be stuff like that, especially bridges that collapse on me. There's definitely going to be elite in there, so I'm going to bring my owl, and I'm also going to throw one of those in. Okay, the shield guy is not going to be very easy to do. Luckily, he's the first. So even if he does damage me, I can restart my streak fairly easy. And I think we got him anyway. Maybe not. Nope, he got me. I was hoping for an amulet that would make me invisible. No such luck. Not really sure what that mushroom thing over there is, so I'm going to send my little thing to attack it. That works out well. Then I don't have to risk whatever that was. I'm just going to take everything really slow like that and just let my owl and my turret do most of the work. So I might start upgrading purple things instead of red this time around, considering I'm using a frying pan right now. But it might be too late to change it. I am finding a lot of these that only give me green or purple choices, so I'll definitely take purple for all of those. We're at 5 to 4. And I just got hit by, I don't know what, whatever that is right below me. Apparently spikes can spawn here. Oh, there's a mushroom down there that can do it. Okay, well these levels are definitely going to be a bit of a nightmare to deal with then. Not only that, they have the egg laying enemies, two of my least favorite things in the entire game. But at least it's kind of enough to reward me with a crossbow matic that's worse than the one I currently have. And and then it also adds jumps like that, which aren't very fun to do. You know what, I'm gonna reroll this shop, hoping for a weapon that's better than my frying pan. Not really anything there, but these are debatably better, they dare definitely do more damage. So let's reroll this one more time, hoping for something good. Mostly the whip. That's all I really want. Five plus, I'll take it. And I was looking through the comments before, you guys pointed out I could've been doing purple, because the whip can be purple or red. I normally just go red because I assume that's gonna be best, but then I use a whole bunch of purples. Really should be purple heavy. But maybe it's never too late to start that. It might be now. Well, you know what? They're tied now. They're half and half. So I can go purple from here on out. Probably not a wise idea, but let's see what happens. What is that? I kind of gave up on my streak for this area anyway because I kept getting surprised by things I didn't understand. So we'll just keep on trucking. Where's my owl? This place gives me all sorts of fun options. I think I may be going to upgrade my owl. Oh, there's still more. Wow, I didn't know there's so much stuff to be found. That's kind of cool. Yeah, just give me a better owl. 3 plus. What's my current one? 3 plus. All right, that was kind of a poor choice in hindsight. Probably should have checked. We'll recycle that. Then we'll maybe just take some money. I think we can open one more, so we'll take whatever we can sell for the most. It's probably the one with the star on it right here. What do we know about you? What are you? Hello? 3 plus. This dungeon was bad enough. I'm sure the insufferable crypt will be so much worse. We even get an achievement. 60 enemies. Here we go. What is that thing up there? Is this a boss fight? This is probably a boss fight. Didn't really expect this. I do my research always. Well, you know what? I'm feeling pretty good with my whip, so I'll probably just whip you to death. Okay, I can summon lots of enemies too. Mm, you know what? I think as long as I have my owl out, we'll be fine. Oh, I see how they work now. They make an announcement before they attack. Like that, and then we can kill them, and then we can hit this guy, I'm pretty sure. There we go, easy. Ow. All right, this one might take some extra strategy. Whoops, don't get hit by that. This is definitely one of the harder bosses I've fought considering we're just on regular mode. Whoa, okay, they can move fast. Luckily, I also have lots of health potions, so I should be able to just kind of heal and like tank my way through this. The problem is chasing this idiot all around the chamber. I'd rather just kind of hold still the whole time. And then we play a bullet hell game and I dodge pretty much none of that. One day, I really need to come up with a proper strategy for actually doing these things. Okay, we're gonna drink a potion just in case. And my little turret down there wants to do anything at any point. Can we just get my owl to help? Anything? No, my owl disappears as soon as I get hurt, so it doesn't last long here. I'm just gonna whip you now, okay? And you're dead. I won't lie to you, if it wasn't for all my stupid power-ups, I probably wouldn't have won that. Tentacle. Frost Blast 3. That's worse than the one I have already. Also forgot I had Frost Blast pretty much this entire time. I do like it, but I do forget about it a lot. Anyways, that brings us to the Slumbering Sanctuary, which is where we find our spider room, so we can climb walls to go to new places. One more achievement to make me feel good. We're gonna take this quite slowly. Whoop. Okay, we're gonna have to take it even slower than that because we're going to be surprised a lot. I feel like a lot of things here are invisible, and that's kind of making me nervous. Some items about as good as the ones I already have. Just lost my streak again, because I keep paying attention to not the invisible guys and everything else. I'm trying to be very careful, but just like that, 
I don't see them coming because I'm not paying attention. I'm still strangely tempted to take this, but you know what? I'm not going to do it because I'm getting hit by every second enemy. I think I found the room I need to be in though, so let's get this over with. Can I freeze you? Or at least not get hit by you? Well, so far so good. Perfect. The owl finished him off and everything. There we go. Spider rune. Now we can climb walls, which should lead me to all sorts of stupid places. And we get to touch a mysterious thing. Everything turned orange, I'm sure that's fine. And there's new enemies here, so that's okay. Maybe we can still do this streak, especially if they're more predictable enemies that I actually know. Found my first legendary. Unfortunately, it's not really anything I want, but it's a symmetrical lance five legendary with two gold star qualities. 50% damage of max HP, poisons the enemy. And you know what? Since this runs kind of whatever anyway, I'm gonna take it. It's gonna replace my whip. That kind of pains me, but it does more damage. Whip, gone. I guess if I remember to use my frost blast, it would work pretty nice in combination with this, because I can freeze them then hit them with my very slow attack let's try it on this volunteer freeze and smash yeah not bad if there's any other enemies nearby though not really gonna have time to deal and the owl kind of works against it because as soon as i freeze the owl attacks it once the owl hits it they unfreeze well that was fun on to the other place i hate oh right and i get to give him my amulet and pay 6300 gold for this you know what i like my items i'm not taking that does that make a difference i've decided that i definitely don't love this weapon I already knew as much, but this kind of confirms it. It's okay, but it's no whip. Not sure what exactly happened, but this just dropped. Knife Dance 5 Legendary. I think that's like a throwing knife, but legendary. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. Uh, oh, it's actually an item. I see. The owl has been fun, but it's got to go now. I think I'm going to like this. We're going to try it on you. You freeze. Okay, it's like a fan of knives. I get it. I think this is the first time I've ever been able to use two legendaries at the same time. We tried against you guys. Pow. Yeah, it makes him bleed pretty bad, actually. I like it. And then we get to deal with this guy after all that, but so far, so good. Especially if I can make him bleed like that. He takes tons of damage. So that legendary, whatever it is, works great. Could have rewarded me a little bit better, though. Don't want infantry grenade 5, and I don't want broadsword 5. I'm not going to put a ton of energy into getting a streak on this dungeon because my setup isn't really conducive to it, but we'll try our best. If it happens, great. If not, don't care. It is so tempting to go back to my electric whip. I just can't resist. We're doing 2340 DPS here. It would do a little bit less, but it would be close. And that poor guy was number 60, so I'm good to go for my reward now. Oh, what a cool owl piece down there. Are these any good? 6 plus? No. Nope. And it is an Owl of War 6, but I don't want that. This, however, is a new room with what appears to be potentially some secrets up here. This is why I needed to be able to climb. Okay, what do we got now? Aha! See? We're finding new stuff already. So I think this might simply be for a few crystals. Although, looking at the map, there is something else up there. I'm not sure if that's where my head was or something I need to get to. Nope, that's simply the room my head got into. My final reward is a Vorpan 7+, plus, or an Amulet 7, or Sinew Slicer 7+. Plus. I think I'm actually going to take the Amulet because minus 10% damage received and damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. That is huge, and I'm hoping some of the boss's attacks count as projectiles. Other than that, that might have been a waste. Since we got money to burn, these are going to plus quality and that's going to plus plus quality so i can see the value of upgrading the other colors especially when this i can go full purple all the way because even my frost blast is 700 dps per second and so is my crossbow if only i didn't have this stupid spirit to have to deal with them with but you know what we'll just either tank through this or we won't i don't care at this point i'm feeling lazy so far things aren't looking super optimistic give me another one of those please oh yeah this lance thing isn't really doing it for me i know it's supposed to be pretty good but it's not for me Praise you. Pretty sure that was my final potion, so now we're just kind of open for the best. Again, just trying to tank through him. He's pretty poisoned, pretty bleeding, pretty beat up. We managed. Wasn't as easy as it should have been. But to be fair, I was only after the spider in this time anyway. I didn't even have to do the rest of the run. I just kind of did. But two legendary weapons, so that was fun. There are only five quality, though. I want ten quality. They'd be twice as good. Using all this newfound knowledge and skill... Boss cell time. Hard mode. I don't love the nutcracker, but I'm gonna use it. I think we just got a random drop. I actually just got a legendary bow, like, right away. So, we're gonna play with that. I also just got hit by something, but it gave me this in return. So, I'm okay with that. And I found some daggers that I like a lot more than my nutcracker. Now, to just figure out the best way to deal with all these invisible enemies. Probably like that. And for hard mode, I think we're gonna go all purple because most of the things I'm gonna end up using are purple. Hopefully we get a whip too because that'll be more of the same. And wouldn't you know it, we get another legendary item right away. Hopefully it's something better than a bow. Frost blast. A legendary frost blast. That's... Okay, we're gonna use a bow and a frost blast, I guess. Which is a pretty weird combination, but uh... Yep, we'll figure this out as we go. I do still really, really want a whip. 
But this boat by itself is pretty good because I can mostly just do this to most enemies and it's that easy. At least for now. And I just got hit by an invisible guy, so whatever. We're not going to do this trick on this one. That's okay. We got two legendary weapons so far. More to come. And a crossbowmatic 1 plus. That's going to make it a lot easier for me. No bonuses for me, but it's not like I didn't try. I think as far as mutations go, I'm going to start with Hunter's Instinct because it's really the only one that I don't need melee attacks for. What do you think happens if we climb like way, way up here? I did see something. There's always a reward for doing something stupid. What is this? Ripper. Well, can't wait to see what that does. If I send my head farther up, is that going to get anything? Because I know these can go through the spikes. Okay, get up there. There might not be anything up there. Now, slow and steady wins the race. Using my spider rune, I got the gardener's key. Can't remember what that opens, but I know it opens something. These honestly stress me out way more than the enemies do, because these are really the most likely to give me damage. Just got my 60 kill streak and found this shop. Firebrands is something I might buy if I didn't have better weapons. What I mean by that is weapons that I currently like better. And the boss cell door. Oh, I didn't expect there to... I have my hands off the thing because I didn't expect there to be enemies. How oh, fun. I actually managed to get through all that without taking any damage yet, so that was pretty good. Definitely didn't have my hands on the keyboard when I went through the door. All that so I could potentially upgrade my ice grenade or get an Owl of War, which I don't really want right now. Well, I kind of do, but for 6,700 of my 24,000 gold, no thanks. And a reward for a 60 kill streak is a throwing knife 5+, plus, which is kind of interesting, an amulet. And the Cleaver 5+. Plus. I do want the Cleaver 5+. Plus. I know this one does do a lot of damage when enemies walk on it. I think I might turn my Cleaver 5+, plus into a plus plus, but I'm going to wait maybe one more level before I do that, because it's pretty expensive to do. I'm also going to take a green mutation just to help keep me alive. This maybe isn't the best idea, but that's all right. Need to stay alive. So again, we just take it slow and easy. Let everything else do all the work. So on the bright side, I did find a double crossbow Matic 5 plus to replace my 1 plus. On the downside, I have four enemies left on this entire level. Looking at my kill streak right now, it's 55. So we can get a maximum of a 59 kill streak out of the 60 we need. So I'm pretty thrilled about that right now. How do you think you get to that next tower over? That's a jump that's probably too big to make. I can maybe jump over and try and stick to the wall, but. I don't know where it is over there. Kill streaks are overrated anyways. Next, we're gonna go with 229 DPS if you're close to a deployed skill. I almost always am. At least this time with this boss fight, I should be able to stay way far away from him while doing tons of damage. As long as I keep him at, I think, medium range, he should be able to just kind of... Uh, whoops, that took a ton of damage off me. Didn't mean to do that. I need to remember to keep my health topped up and also not go anywhere near him. Look at how much damage he does to me. I'm pretty sure I was much tougher last time. Because I actually just died there. Oh, because I was taking double damage. Because I was doing double damage. I remember now. Probably would have done that a little bit differently in hindsight. 